wind. No wind at all. That's good. We've got some deer. We got some deer spotted out here. They're moving up to the brush. They might pop out in one of these little uh, cut trails here. We'll see if we can set up on them early. Yeah, staying out clear as day. What do you think, Eric? Well, which one are you gonna go for? The top right one's big. Looks like a button buck. No. He's got a big disc in there. Are you good? Yeah. Dude, you got her. Hit her in the hip. Dude, she's down right there. Laying up there. There's definitely something laying up there. Let me see. And it's right there on the edge of the field. Dude, that's my deer. Dude, we killed her. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Dude, that's her laying right there. Are you sure? I swear. Dude, we got a dead deer up there from early this morning. She was not there when we left earlier. She's dead. Dude, that's her laying right there. Right on the edge, too. Yeah, she must have come out and died. That's crazy, man. At least she got her. She got meat in the freezer there now. There she is. She's a good doe, too. Yep. Got the uh, custom 6.5 uh, PRC sitting there. I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's still really early, too. It's only 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock is usually when stuff really starts happening. And we're already seeing deer moving around, so... It's going to happen. I feel pretty good about it. I saw something up there. Yep, right there below, right below the pine tree, dude. Oh, okay. Yep. Give me a range. 5.30. Hold on, I'm going to tell you. 5.30 is 2.5. All right, 2.5 it is. She just needs to stop. I'm good. She just needs to stop. Yeah, she's got her ass pointed ass right now. Yep. There we go. You ready? Yep. Dumped her. Dumped her. Dude, Dude hell of a shot. Got another doe down here. Decent size, not the biggest, but you know what? Garrett and I have been hunting pretty hard here. It's the last day of deer season. Just really happy to put something down on the ground today. Uh, this morning, Garrett took a shot at one at 680 yards. Wasn't an ideal shot, wasn't perfectly placed, but we came back a little, up, a little bit later today and uh, we spotted his laying dead in the field up above us here 680 yards we had stout wind today really cold it doesn't look like it from the footage but it was really cold today but anyway we came back over here uh to see what happened with that deer this one stepped out here on this mode path at 530 yards i laid down put the smack down on it garrett had us covered here hunting long range uh on the long range rifles 
Uh, the first one was with the Bergera 300 PRC. The second one was was with his new custom 6.5 PRC, shooting those 156 grain Berger bullets. Really happy to put this one down here, 530 yards. Went right through the neck here, offside. Impressive exit wound right there. Uh, wasn't quite where I was aiming. I was kind of aiming back in here. But I knew with the way the wind was moving, the wor worst case scenario would be a shoulder shot or a neck shot. Anyway, it resulted in a deer laying on the ground immediately after the shot. So super happy with that. Well, guys, made it all the way up here. Um, shot this doe earlier this morning. It's now pushing 630 um, at night, of course. She was at 690 yards. Um, Brand new Origin 6.5 PRC Custom that I put together, Proof Research Barrel, 156 Burger. Um, she was quartered to me a little bit, and I had put it, you know, where any any shot normally should take place, you know, right here, right in that shoulder meat area in the pocket. And if you look at it this way, you got about 24 inches to work with if she's perfectly broadside, and she was quartered to me, so that cuts your angle down to about 10 or 12 inches well we got to looking after afterwards and silly me i forgot to uh play the wind and it was blowing uh indiscriminately uh, out of the west and i didn't realize it because we were tucked down in that valley well the wind moved that bullet you know about 10 inches and what do you know right through the hip right here obviously that is not the shot that we want to have happen and i take full responsibility for it being an error on my part, shooting um, didn't play the wind right, and that just goes to show how important wind factor is in these long range shots. Um, this is the furthest shot I've ever taken on a whitetail, and I'm glad to see um, that she expired from it. So, um, felt pretty terrible earlier, but glad we could put an end to the story here. Um, I know you guys are probably gonna be like, oh, you know, shouldn't shoot a deer that far, yada yada, but um at the end of the day you know it's our my choice and we got to live up to it and to be honest with you um pretty delighted right now that we ended up getting her so i just heard word too that my dad actually uh shot a doe right at dusk so we're gonna help him with that recovery too so anyway thanks for watching uh hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you on the next one